Hello YouTubers, what's up? Zodiac Inferno here. Today, we're going to do what uh, I like to call the collector's dream. We're going to maximum turn in Madame Nazar, 10 of every set of collectibles, and we're going to get rich. Now, I've attempted this before, and... Uh, I'd like to address this for those of you who wish to try this at home or are working on it and run into some problems. Uh, mostly, uh, let's see, the 1792 quarter glitch. They call it a glitch. They call it a bug. Um, and what it is, you get to you can all you get to a max. Everybody's got a different number, but you get to a point where you can only pick up that number of 1792 quarters and then it will not let you pick up anymore you can get to the spot you can find it with your metal detector you can um you know everything but dig and pick it up and it'll stop you from completing 10 of the set now i looked everywhere man people gave me advice i asked around rock stars to check your Verify your game files and your assets, clear your cache, um, you know, restart the game, change lobbies, all that shit. None of that works. What it is, I found it. It's um, it's actually a, a fault on Rockstar. Hey, here, I'll show you what's going on. Um, first of all, let me show you here. Here's my collections. All right, you can see we got 10 of everything. We're ready to rock. Finally, last time I only could get 8 of the coins I had 10 of everything else I turned it in anyway I was gonna make a video I said screw it it's either gonna be 10 or it's gonna be none so this time I got it down um, if you look in your coins you know there's this 1792 quarter now the deal is there's also a 1792 Liberty quarter okay if you get 10 of the Liberty Quarter before you get your quarters, it registers as a quarter and it will not let you pick up another quarter because the game thinks that you already have 10 quarters. That's a rock star thing. It's not a bug. It's not a glitch. It's just a mistake in the coding. It's easily fixable. We'll see if they fix it in the future. But the cure for that is if you reach 10 Liberty Quarters before you reach quarters, you just delete one of your Liberty quarters go back to nine pick up your 1792 quarters until you're at 10 and then go back and get your last Liberty quarter and you will finish out your set easy peasy but it's frustrating if you don't realize that going on like I said I did a lot of things to try to figure I sold a coin and then I realized I couldn't pick up another coin so I went down a coin then I figured well hey I'll sell a whole set of coins maybe that'll fix the bug and I did that and I could pick up another quarter I said oh it's fixed and then I got 10 Liberty quarters and then that was bugged back at 8 again so I was you know I was stumped whatever so I did the turn in I got rich and uh, but it wasn't you know it wasn't the collector's dream that I was that I was wanting to do so um, that's that so we can go and uh, go find Madame Nazar. I believe she's in uh, she's in the marsh. She's down in the swamp today, so we'll go check that out. Oh, another thing. If you guys want to maximize, last time I kind of didn't do this. I did. I, I caught on at the end. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your progress before you start this. Go to your awards. Go to your collector, and you can see I've been doing a lot of collecting here, man. Uh, I, 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 there's different levels. You know, you can reset these and uh, claim some gold and start over. Like here, the collector, you know, every thousand collect and collectors items you get, you get, you know, the first time you get the buckle, and then you can reset it or whatever. You can see I've done it five times. I got over five thousand collectibles. I fucking, I'm a grinder. So anyway. Um, you want to look at what sets like see right here I have 
tarot cards, 17 out of 20 sold. So that means when I sell the next three tarot cards, I want to immediately back out of Madame Nazar, go claim my gold so that the rest of my uh, turn ins for the collections for the complete sets will register on my next level. If you don't do that, if I just sell all of them, I'm just going to get the one time over. Whereas, you know, there's two more sets of collectibles. I could get another half of gold there. And the rest of them look good. Well, here, complete sets of lost jewelry. There's enough jewelry because it counts bracelets and necklaces and earrings and all that as, you know, as lost jewelry. So here I'm at seven of 20 sold on this round. I've done it four times. Um, so I want to sell 13 sets back out grab my gold and then go back in and start selling that's how you maximize your gold and if you don't i mean you'll lose out but i mean when you're doing a maximum collection like this um and for the first time or the second time or after you've already been collecting for a while you know you're potentially going to miss out on some gold. last time i think i got like four or five gold just by uh, paying attention to that and I was late in doing it because I didn't think about it till about halfway through when I realized I started seeing, you know, the the gold award things flying on the thing. And then I realized, well, hey, I'm still turning in coins. And then I, I went and looked a couple things later and I wasn't getting credit. So to get credit, you want to kind of take note. Like here, we're going to go sell immediately three tarot card sets and then I'm going to go collect the gold. And then, you know, just to keep, keep it easy, I'm going to go back off that set and go sell 10 complete sets twice you know of the of the next two tarot cards and that way i'll be able to collect that gold without having to count and do all the you know math so that being said that's about it i mean other than that um the only uh, uh look materials all right crips you're just gonna have to wait I got better things to do right now. Um, the only other tips I can give as far as collecting, you know, everybody knows about the map. You want to stick to the map. Uh, yeah, doing something like this, it's just about grind, grind, grind. And uh, let's see, I think like Ross going to be the closest. Um, yeah, it's about grind, grind, grind. And now, you know, you want to jump into any salvage um, free roam events when you can because those you get a lot of collectibles and you know you get good at it I average about 10 collectibles every time I do a salvage so that will minimize uh, you know the amount of days you have to wait you know otherwise it's gonna take you 10 days of solid if you collected everything on the map every day now random pickups are also gonna help you out as far as that let me see where is uh, I think she's on yeah she is right so, um, yeah, the randoms are going to help you out, and that'll minimize your time doing it. Um, what else? Well, that's it. I mean, you want to loot all the target, all, all the bodies you can, because that's where you get your extra tarot cards, you know. So, I mean, that'll cut down on some of the time. Um, salvages, loot bodies, that's about it. Oh, the other thing about the free roam events. Um, I have a problem. Not everybody does, but um, me particularly. If I enter a free roam event, whether it be salvage or anything else, when I come out of that event and go back to collecting, um, <laughs> it's eight times out of ten my collections bugged and I'll go to the next thing and it won't show up on the map now tarot cards usually show up but anything you got to dig for or metal detect for they won't seem to show up uh, easy fix for that I mean you just change sessions and everything pops back to normal you can go back on your merry collected way but uh, you know it's a pain in the butt but you know that's how it is for me so I pretty much avoid the free roams unless they're a daily, you know, where I'm getting gold for doing it or something like that, or I just happen to want to, whatever. But if I'm on the grind, I avoid them because then I have to log out. It's bad enough logging in and out. 
all the glitches in the game and all that, you know. So switching lobbies doesn't always work for me. Sometimes it just crashes. Sometimes the game won't load. I got to restart the whole everything. And yeah, I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. What's up, madam? So, uh, all right, so let's take note here before we start. Let's see, I'm at 76k. Start out, 621 gold. Uh, we're going to go in and sell. All right, now, last time what also messed me up, the weekly collection deal. See there, the lover's collection. If you start there where it's at the top, it's going to instantly kill three of your collections, you know, as far as the items or whatever. So you want to try to avoid that because as you're doing them, that will move around. Well, it did on me last time, and it ended up, yeah, I did it twice, and, I, and it messed up my full collections to where I ended up having some partial collections at the end. So it wasn't the collector's dream. Today we're going to avoid that. So... Yeah, I got 10 of everything if you look down the road. That's what will happen if, if you mess up and do the uh, the weekly thing. You'll end up, you know, with a bunch of these items with like 9 in it and then 8 in it if you mess up twice. All right, so anyway, we'll start out with tarot cards. Um, I, I'm probably going to fast forward through this. Last time it took forever. I didn't want this to be a huge long video. I just wanted to get some of those points out and show exactly how much money you can make by doing this collector's dream. Okay, so we're going to go two collections instead of just the sell button. We're going to go two collections. That'll make it a little bit easier. And we'll start out with uh, wands here. We're going to sell one, bam, sell two, bam, sell three. Now, like I said, I only needed three to go and get that award. So I'm going to back out. See there? Gold collector, 20 cards set. So now hold for details, whatever. So we're going to go and do that. And I'm going to immediately reset that rep. That blah, 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 reset that award so that the next tarot cards we get give credit towards the next level and we fill up and we're maximizing our potential on getting gold for doing all this stuff all right once we do that back to madame Azar. sell all right. collections all right, so we're down to seven of that. So we'll go somewhere else so that now that we know that we're at zero, we got to sell 20. I'll sell two complete sets, and I know I'll get another gold, and I know to stop there. So sell. Sell. Every card is here. All right. This is where I buzz through it and just hope I maintain a co connection and uh, Rockstar doesn't Every card is here. boot us out right. here. There are none missing? Good. Uh, it's going fast here. enough. Maybe I'll just keep right. going here. Last you time know, it took so long to start getting laggy. With all all <laughs> it would only uh, take so many collections at a time. Well, well, would be all right. Either. So that's another 20. Okay. So we want to back out. Collector's Award, looky there. It's another point four gold. I mean, you don't have to do that, but if you want to maximize and make some gold while you're doing this, making all this money, that's what you do. Alright, so sell. Alright, the other one was what? So the tarot card, we'll just finish off them just to get them out of the way. There are none missing? Good. Mm -hmm. Every wand seems to be here. Every card is here. All right. There are none missing? All right. 
So we're going to end up with 17. So the next time, I, you know, I'll have to do three more collections of tarot cards to max out and get another gold award. And, you know, uh, doing the reset, you only get 10 times to uh, reset any awards. So there'll come a time where that won't really matter. But for now, I want it all. So now, all right. Remember, I needed 13 uh, jewelries. So we'll go ahead and start with necklaces here. Get rid of all of those. Oh, what a charming set of pieces! That'll be 10 for the necklaces. Wonderful. Some of these. We'll sell three jewelry uh, earrings. Once it catches up here, that's what I was saying. It starts to lag. If you try to do it too fast, I mean, I don't. I got a, I got a crap connection. That's why I'm not live and I'm making a video. <laughs> so. You even got the Endicott diamond. That's subject to change in the future. We'll see. All right. So yeah. And bam. So at this point, I'm gonna back out when it lets me see it's still processing transactions down there it's taking time rockstar's probably going what the hell alright we're going to buzz through this and get to the gist of this y'all know what's going on now let's get to the meat of this video All right, that's it. We're done. We're rich. We just made forty thousand. Oh look, I started at two ninety nine. I just ranked up to three hundred and twelve. I just at level two hundred and ninety nine gained thirteen levels at my level, turning in the collectors. Oh look. 313. We're still going. She's still calculating. She must, she, you know, she's got an abacus or something going words. on here. It's still uh, collectors awarding us for arrowheads. We turned in 10 minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Taking a little bit to process. So hopefully it all gets processed before I get knocked. Oh, 314. Look, I'm gaining levels just <laughs> off the residual income. It's like interest. <laughs> so yeah, like 15 levels, $40,000. A couple extra gold. That is a nice turn in. That's how you be a master connector. Thank you. So, anyways, I'm still ranking up. Alright, so I don't want to make this too long. It's already been longer than, way longer than expected. But, um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope any of those tips help you guys in case you want to try this. Um, it's fun. I mean, you know, it's an accomplishment. It takes a lot of patience. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's a grind, man. You know, if you can pull it off in even 10 days, you're doing, you're, you're a madman. You're crazy. You know, you're, <laughs> look, rank 316. I'm still, I'm just curious to see how many ranks I get. It's still calculating my experience. It's so much stuff. But the money looks like it's going to be staying the same, but my levels are slowly rolling in. And that could be my connection. Like I said, maybe for you guys it won't be the same. Maybe it'll just go bam, bam, bam. You can turn it all in and get your money. Oh, look, 317. Wow. It's still calculating bird eggs. All right, 
right, I think it's done. So what was that, 317? I got 18 levels. And we're talking 18 levels at level 299, where you need 15 grand to pop to advance. So that's a lot of experience, and I believe that's because this week there is a bonus for collection turn ins. That's why I wanted to get it done today. So, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to try some more uh, crazy stuff. Make some more videos here shortly, and I hope to see you guys. Um, if I was any help at all, be sure to, you know, like, subscribe if you want. You don't have to, whatever. I'm doing this for my enjoyment as well as yours. But I hope it does help some of you people. So, till next time, later.